Hello. What's up, dolls? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. It's your girl, Kayla Lachey, and I'm coming at you from the future of this video. And I just wanted to give a quick introduction as to what this video is going to be so that you kind of understand what's going on. So I thought it would be so fun to share a typical day in the life of someone that is a full-time YouTuber that is fully independent. I'm talking no management, no MCN, none of that. I do everything myself. I do all of my own brand deals as a freelancer, I create my own content, I'm my own editor, and I facilitate everything when it comes to going to events and PR and all of that stuff. So today you guys are going to see just a typical like day of what I do when it comes down to my work, and I really wanted to kind of share more of the behind the scenes stuff. I know it might look easy to be a full-time YouTuber, and it is such a fun job, and I am never ever ungrateful for that because I get to reach so many people all over the world. But there's a lot that goes into just creating one video. I mean, a lot of people do have editors and that's really cool, but I personally love editing. I love every aspect of creating a video. So I just wanted to share my favorite gadgets that I use in my day that really help me out. My setup, the equipment and stuff that I use, the cameras and the editing program and how I make my thumbnails and just go into all of that sort of detail. Even the music that I use, that's such a process. So I thought this would be fun just to kind of share everything and this might help someone out there that is maybe even looking to start their own YouTube channel and maybe they even want to look into getting equipment and they don't even know where to start. So I think this will be a really fun video for those of you guys out there watching. So I hope that you guys enjoy this video today. I'm going to leave everything for reference that I mention in the description box. You guys can check that out and learn more details about it. And also it's the end of my day, but my day is not over. It's actually about to be 6 p.m but I'm still doing things. The work doesn't stop when you are a social media personality, influencer, whatever you wanna call it. There's so many names for it. It's always evolving and it's still so new, uh, but your work really doesn't stop. You're constantly commenting back to people on your content. You're constantly editing or doing emails and talking with other people, uh, whether it's, like I said earlier, coordinating for events, booking appointments and setting up sponsorships and getting contracts and sending those back so it really is a 24-hour job even when you're vlogging you know you're vlogging your entire day for one video so there's a lot of work that goes behind the scenes and that's just really what I wanted to share in this video today basically I do this every single day and I'm trying my best to put myself on an actual schedule because it can be consuming it can be a lot of work and it can drive you crazy you know those waves of depression definitely hit me sometimes knock on wood I'm in a really great place right now but if I'm constantly doing this every single day I drive myself nuts so I'm trying to create more of a balance for my life where I do this routine today Monday through Friday and I have the weekends to myself I need some time to be normal and not have to stress about constantly commenting back and sitting on my computer all of the time that's not healthy I don't think for anybody so that's where it's kind of hard and easy for you to create um, not really a social life because it is really an independent job you do everything yourself as an independent influencer that does not have a network a manager know that you know you really have to be everything you have to wear all of these different hats you have to be someone that comes up with content ideas you have to know how to edit your videos you have to know how to read contracts and send those back to facilitate deals you have to know how to do customer service in a sense when it comes back to commenting back to people in this community that you've created you know you have to be on top of things and you have to be organized and the thing is too like if you want to be someone that does brand deals and you work with brands and PR and all of that you really have to stay on top of your inbox I don't know how people have thousands of emails that are unread that gives me stress I need to see zero I need to go in and reply to an email within 30 minutes especially if there's money on the table like I don't want to lose an opportunity that I'm really interested in especially with someone that I love so much like a brand or clothing, makeup, whatever it might be. You don't wanna miss out on those opportunities. So you have to stay on top of everything. You have to multitask. You have to be wearing every single hat that you can wear to get things done and be productive throughout your day and especially your week. So I thought that this would be 
helpful for those of you guys that are interested in this business and maybe you want to get into it like i said hopefully this helps so without further ado let's get into it bye hey dolls welcome back to a new video today i'm taking you through a typical work day as a full-time youtuber but i also say influencer because i do more than just youtube content there's a lot of social media involved so here i'm just prepping for my day i actually had this clothing rack from my old apartment that's been sitting under my bed so i really wanted to put it together so i could style it for a video which you guys actually already saw it was my fall wardrobe essentials so definitely check that out i'm surprised i remembered how to put it together though without the directions Now that that's done, I'm trying to get myself together so I don't look like a beat up big toe since today I am going to be filming some videos. So I just took a nice hot steamy shower and I'm laying my edges down. I'm also going to do like a full glam makeup look today. So if you guys are interested in the products that I use and how I do my makeup, definitely check out the description box. If you guys are familiar with my other videos, you know that I live in a studio apartment, so things can be a little bit tight and it's easy for things to get messy. So I actually have my desk, which doubles as a desk, and makeup storage where I do my makeup every day. So this desk is from Target. I'll also leave it linked down below because it's actually one of my favorite things. So I'm just going to finish up my makeup for the day, and on days where I do film videos, and I'm doing Instagram content, I have to put on eyelashes. Guys, I feel so naked without them. So I really don't feel like my makeup is completed until I pop on those false lashes. Like, look at the difference. It's crazy. And I have been loving a gloss lip. I think it looks amazing in photos and on camera. Nobody has time for crusty lips. So I'm gonna move into my hair. Since I wrap it at night, it's pretty much good to go. I just need to pop on some edge control and then brush it and we're good to go so this is what I am left with I need to clean up again my home is my workspace so I'm filming a lot and I don't want to have mess in the background it just does not look great in videos or in photos and also like I get stressed with a lot of mess I don't know if you dolls can relate but I have to clean up as I go throughout my day and you guys will see this in the video When my space feels great, I always have a productive day, so I like to set the mood by turning on the fireplace app on my TV. I always like to burn some fun fall candles or whatever season we're in. So this one is the hot cocoa and cream, and I love this. Oh my gosh, it scents up my entire apartment, and it really just makes me feel so good. And I also like to play music in the background when I'm not filming, of course, for copyright reasons. This is my productivity playlist, which I love to listen to in the morning while I'm planning my day out, when I'm setting up, like it's just the best playlist. So I'll leave my Spotify in the description box. You guys are gonna love this. I'm gonna pop my iPhone on my charger because nothing is worse than having a dead phone when you need it throughout your day. Oh, I love this charger stand, by the way. It's pretty great. So I'm going to start off by replying to some emails that I have gotten over the night while I've been sleeping. A lot of my communication is actually done through emails. I'm always on top of my emails. I tell myself I have to reply within 30 minutes if I can, unless I have to send documents and stuff if I'm not home. So I'm going to start off by setting up my apartment space because I'm going to be shooting today. So I do prefer to shoot during the day when I have natural light, which is awesome. I love my apartment. It is so bright during the day, but I do like to use one umbrella studio light on the opposite side of the tripod where I do not have windows. So I'll leave that stuff linked in the description for you guys to check out if you need some cool lighting sets. And I have to have batteries on rotation. I always, always, always charge them throughout the day so I never go without.
Now that everything is set up, it is time for your girl to find a cute outfit to wear. Now, I'm actually shooting an outfits of the week at the same time, so I was really inspired to pick out a cute outfit for the week and also I wanted to take some fun photos for Instagram so this is just like my closet where I keep everything and I definitely wanted to wear this fun skirt I thought it was very fall so if you guys want to see my outfits of the week video definitely go watch that after this one it's already posted so you already know I'll put the link in the down bar I really want to know how long does it take you dolls to get ready for your work day or your school day because for me I have to allow myself a good hour to an hour and a half depending on what my hair is looking like but I'm just gonna uh, roll my shirt out just to get off any lint so you can't see it on camera and I'm definitely gonna pick out some fun accessories today I'm loving these earrings here from bobble bar so I'm gonna pop those on And I'm going to go in with some body cream because I'm not trying to be ashy, guys. I know you can't smell me through the screen, but if I smell good, I feel good, and I just have a better day. So I know I work from home, and some of you guys probably do too. The importance of getting ready for your day, oh my gosh, it sets the whole tone. I just feel so much more productive when I'm fully dressed, and I'm just ready to do whatever it is I need to do. And I know it's Halloween season, so I was filming a fun Halloween video this day where I let my subscribers pick my Halloween costume, which that was so fun. That was actually sponsored by Dolls Kill, which was a fun video to shoot. And actually throughout the day, I got a text from someone at a company that I love and they wanted me to come in this week to shoot some content for their Halloween event. So I'm just gonna pop that into my calendar on my iPhone. I love this calendar for events, at times, appointments, because I have actual alerts. So I'll set that up right now. But for everyday planning, I do like to use my traditional planner. This is great just to do tasks and be able to check them off physically. And you already know I have to clean up my space. So this was actually dishes that I had drying overnight. And I know you couldn't see the kitchen in the videos that I was filming today because it's on the other side of my apartment. But if I can see the mess, your girl gets stressed. Let me say that again. If I can see the mess, your girl gets stressed. So I know I get comments from you guys from time to time asking how do I keep my apartment so clean? This is how I just have to pick up as I go throughout my day because I don't want to have a huge disaster left by 6 p.m. and my day is still not over so it's just easier for me to clean as I go and I highly recommend that you guys do the same if you have like messy habits this definitely helps just spending five ten minutes a day picking up after yourself Okay, now we are finally ready to sit down and film our videos for the day. I like to sit on my bed. Honestly, it depends on what video I'm doing, but this was like a little sit down try on haul, so I'm left with a mess. Y'all already know, we're gonna clean it up before we move on to the next thing for the day. So these are all my Halloween options and I'm obsessed with them, by the way, so go watch that video if you haven't seen it yet. So once I'm done shooting, I immediately go to my computer and import it into my editing program which I use Final Cut 10. I have used this for years. I am self-taught. If there's something I want to learn, I go on Google, I look up tutorials, and I will figure it out. So I will find all the clips from the video that I filmed. I'll create an event. For this one it was like Halloween costume ideas and I'll import that. And while it imports, I'll go onto the website and find all of the links to the things that I tried on just so that you guys know where they're from and I'll save those links for the description box of the video for reference. I always put everything in my down bars so that's super important for you guys and I will go through and take screenshots from my video. I'll find like little stills of poses 
and this is what I will use for my thumbnails. Again, I'm thinking about these things while I'm filming, making sure that I have a thumbnail option. So for this try-on, I got a shot of every look. And I'm just gonna make sure that all of my clips imported correctly. So when I go to format my memory card, I don't accidentally delete something that I really needed. This was a day where I was shooting, editing, and uploading a video all in one day, so I was really short on time to get this up before like 6 o'clock. So I just jumped right into editing, and I'm going to go to pickmonkey.com. This is the website that I use for my thumbnails, and as you can see, some previous thumbnails that I've edited before in the past. So I'll just import all of those screenshots that you saw me take earlier. I'll rearrange them, I'll sharpen the image, brighten them up, add a little saturation, a little contrast, throw in a little text, some color, screenshot that, and then I'm good to go. I'm going to jump over to holothematic.com, which is another website that I use for audio. This is amazing for content creators, and I will sit here for a good hour listening to 80 tracks legit, trying to find the right vibe and beat for my videos. Some videos I need instrumentals, some I like to have, you know, full vocals on it if I'm going to do a voiceover or whatnot. So once I find a song that I like, I will download it and save it to my iTunes which will automatically import into my editing program. So that's just how I get all of my music. And once I find a song that I like, I always link the artist in the description box for credit. So look, I'm hungry now. I ran to the fridge, grabbed some random leftovers. Honestly, I don't even know what the heck this was. Maybe some chicken and some rice. There's some ketchup on it and I'm just going to eat this while I finish editing again I like to get my videos up before it gets too late on the East Coast I'm always thinking about people in different time zones because you guys know I'm in LA so it's a lot earlier here but I'm just eating probably getting some chicken grease on my keyboard but that's okay because productivity <laughs> For one video, it probably takes me about, I would say 90 minutes to completely edit and export. Got my thumbnail ready to go. We are ready to upload. I put everything in the down bar. I'll create the title and I will save all of my changes. And my Wi-Fi is not fast, so it's gonna take a little bit to post. So while I wait for that video to upload, I'm going to start editing my next video for the day. So this one happened to be a voiceover, and I always like to have a T if I'm going to do a voiceover so my voice doesn't get raspy like it is right now. And I love these little messages on the Yogi Tees. I think they are so motivational. One of the best investments you can get as a creator is a mic. I use the Snowball microphone. This thing has held up for years, and I just plug it directly into my computer. I have this little gadget on here because look Apple is stingy they don't want us to have imports and stuff like that so that's another tool that I use every day and I will go to the window go down to record voiceover and that is how I do my voiceovers in my editing program it's actually really great you can customize the levels of everything and see where your pitch is at when you are recording I love my day I think it is so fun every day is so different and I get to interact with so many people from all over the world. You guys are seriously the best. So I'll jump from editing and exporting and uploading into my comments and start replying to you guys. And again, bouncing back to my email just to make sure that I'm on top of everything. I almost forgot I needed to upload to my Instagram. Sometimes I'll go a few days without posting, which is not great. I'm trying to get better at that. So I'm going to find an outfit of the day post to put up today. And I'm going to go into one of my favorite apps, which is Facetune. I like to go in and detail my photos. I like to brighten up the background. And I'm going to show you here, I like to go in with the smoothing tool to make my face not look so greasy. I went and got Botox the day that I took that picture, so a little bit of my makeup was taken off. So I wanted to kind of edit that down a little bit. And you can just see how I edit my Instagram pics. I think editing is so fun. You can really just change up the entire aesthetic. Like you can see how much of a difference just brightening up the background 
made. I really like doing that. And for the next app, I like to use Visco. This is where I will add saturation and adjust the warmth, add a little bit of grain if I'm into that, and then I'll just export it and then import it directly into Instagram, which I also might tweak it with the editing tools in the app as well. Once I get the pic the way that I like it, I'll come up with a cheesy little song lyric. This one happened to be Ariana, because we love Ariana Grande. And then I'll add all the tags for my outfit details and hashtags, and I'll post it. So go follow me at Akita. So that's pretty much what a full day of work is like for me as a content creator behind the scenes. It's a lot of fun. So I hope that you guys enjoyed hanging out with me. By the way, your girl has merch, so definitely go check that out. Rep the doll gang all day, and I'll see you guys in my next video.